Hi, this is Silvana with All Service Now Learning. So today what we're going to be covering is how to use the uh, lookup select box in a record uh, producer on a vi uh, variable and connect it to the um, uh, category and the subcategory. So if you would like to see more content like this, please don't uh, forget to like and subscribe. So I've created two variables on the incident table. And this is a record producer. So we'll produce a record. So the category variable is um, going to be called category and it will be a lookup select box. It will also be on the choice table and um, with the lookup value of, uh, with the lookup value field of value and the lookup uh, label field of label. I also selected to include none and the um, unique values only. To get the reference qualifier to select the uh, values for incident, the element is category, the name is incident and the inactive is false. And the way and how we can set, check that is by going to the sys, sys underscore choice um, table. And uh, if you select the element um, and set it to category, name, incident, and active false, um, these are the choices that will display. If you have something else that needs to be set then that can be added or it can be also removed and changed from this. But that's the reference qualifier to pull the choices for the category uh, from the incident table and the category uh, field. So now going back to the subcategory, it will also be a uh, lookup select box and the name is going to be subcategory and it will also be on the um, choice table with value and label uh, selected but in this case um, the reference qualifier will be the uh, javascript name is incident element the subcategory and active is false so technically similar this piece is similar to the category and then um, now we want to link the dependent value to the current category variable. So this will depend, um, depending on what your, in my case it's category, the name is category. In your case, whatever it says right here for the category, in my case the category field, you would copy that in here. And that means it depends on this variable which is the, uh, for me, is the category variable. And then I'm going to get the display value. So now if we go and try to create a UI policy with this reference qualifier on the subcategory, um, like I have an example here. So let's say I have a, a UI policy that would like to go ahead and be applied to category is um, inquiry or health. And then the subcategory, and let me see here if we can see the incidents. So we've got if category is inquiry help, sub subcategory, we've got email, uh, antivirus, and uh, internal application. So with the reference qualifier that we have on the subcategory, uh, it will display a lot of options because it's talking to the choice table, but there's a trick to it. So if we were to remove, so let's copy all of this, and if we were to remove this piece and anything past this piece for the subcategory, this is just temporarily so we can make the right uh, choices here. And then we refresh our UI policy, it will give us just the incident options. So here's the internal application, here's the antivirus, and then we have the email 
uh, which is right here. So this shortens down the list to only the choices that are on the incident table. So uh, for subcategory, and it will display all of them because these are not, but it's still easier to make a choice here and set it to email, let's say, and then go back when we're done and paste our reference qualifier so that it can actually display on the So now, if we were to refresh this, it will select the correct email. So it's a lot easier to get to that list than to choose from this list. 